what do you think of the place? I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. Huh. Is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after... Pff, 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, then. John? Arthur? What's been going on? You know, this and that. Well, I'll leave you to whatever that is. Mary Beth. Hey. So, still glad you fell in with this bunch? I think so. So you got a plan for that moonshine? I'm working on it. Okay. So I got a hold of some ginseng. Ah, perfect. I'll make some of that tonic for you. Thanks. Well, don't let me bother you. See you later. There he is. Hi, Pearson. You're not here to needle me again, are you? That last two I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. We'll make a cook of you yet. Sure, well, as you were. Cheer up, a lot of you. None of them women got the clap. None of you got lynched yet. Ain't none of you got married, neither. <laughs> Way I see it, Ain't no good in worrying about what may be. Worry about what you got and ain't got, and none of you got Damn nothing it, to Pearson. worry about. Just like my daddy told me. He said, son, don't worry about the future. Worry about today. And I said, what do you mean, Pa? He said, well, you're gonna get a beating so hard you'll be lucky to even see tomorrow. <laughs> he was right. Damn nearly killed me, but it taught me not to watch women in the outhouse and get caught. It also taught me not to worry about nothing other than that which is gonna happen. <sighs> that's deep, Uncle. I speak only the truth. Well, that's one lie right there. Okay, okay.